My family was always big into racing, so I just fell in love with the horse in general. And when I was still in kindergarten, I already said I wanted to be a jockey. In Germany, a lot of kids start vaulting, which is like gymnastics on a horse. So I just started with riding lessons and vaulting lessons, and then um, I got in my amateur license, amateur jockey license at 15. Then I started a jockey apprenticeship at 16. After I did my jockey apprenticeship, I worked in the United States for a while as a rider, and then I became assistant trainer over there. So I, yeah, I didn't do everything. This, my life has never been like the straight path. Maybe from the outside looking in, it looks a little bit odd, but for me it was like a succession and like a continuation of everything because I'm just uh, crazy about horses and I wanted to know everything about horses. I don't know, I'm following my dream and that was what I wanted to do. Now I'm combining everything. Everybody in racing has heard about it or knows about it, but it wasn't, I thought after vet school I would go back to America because I went to vet school in Germany, I'm German. Um, but I met my husband along the way and he was working for Godolphin at the time so he was doing six month stints in Newmarket and Dubai. So I, I, after I graduated from vet school I followed him to Newmarket. They always say in, in, in human sports you, you know you can't change everything but you can change if you can change ten little things that adds up to one bigger thing. So that's what we're trying to do here. Um, just, I am a little bit of a perfectionist, which can drive you crazy too. But um, just by not cutting corners and, and doing certain regimes, it might not turn your horse into a group horse, but then you know you've done everything possible for the horse.